Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. So today I have a beauty fashion haul and I'm going to film after that a perfume haul because I have a lot of new stuff and yeah, I absolutely love how I look today. I think that I literally look like a fairy like a very fake one. I only have one beauty item and it is the item I'm wearing on my eyes today. I usually never go for such a heavy look. This is the heaviest I go for and usually that is like for a night out. Although I don't go out anymore, so yeah. And I used for it the Conspiracy palette from uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star Shane Dawson. It is Jeffree Star's brand. So it looks like that. I didn't do a tutorial because literally I, will, I couldn't be bothered. I have so much to do today, you cannot even imagine, like you cannot even imagine. So, uh, but I still had in my plans to film, so I'm filming and I'm happy to film. But yeah, I'm just gonna tell you what I used. Base, I used my pills. Then I used Tanacon in my crease. Then on my art, outer, outer V, I used uh, Not A Fact. Underneath, I used Tanacon and Not A Fact in the corner. Uh, I used conspiracy which is a green color and i usually never wear green eyeshadow because i feel like they make my eyes look less blue i don't know what you think about it it's kind of like a fairy makeup and i really really feel myself today i took ages doing it i feel like it's a palette that you need time i have a child um my fiance is with my daughter right now so she's not here i took my time to do my makeup but yeah usually i don't have time i use a ranch in my inner corner and uh, uh, underneath my brow bone. I really like this palette, it's like iconic. If you like makeup, you need to own that because yeah. The only thing, the downside, the only downside that I can find to it is that I was expecting a tin packaging, that's it. But other than that, like my fiance said, whoa, that's like some heavy packaging. Heavy in like good, like, I don't know. It's like sometimes I'm literally translating from French to English. In, when you say quelque chose est lourd, in French, it means it's, it's like, it's good. Okay? Like, yeah. And I would be absolutely devastated if, like, I would drop it or anything like that. Okay, then, I have two very good quality items that I acquired. Acqu Can you say acquired? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like aquarium. No, look. I got two items, so I got these Yeezy Season 3 boots, they were second-hand, but they were brand new when I got them. I did a full video about my experience getting them on Vestiaire Collective, and I will link you uh, in the down bar below that video, as well as everything else, okay? Then, the next quality item I got is this. So, it's a coat. I'm gonna link it in the down bar below. It's from the brand Jazvar. And uh, it is a real, wool, a real wool teddy coat. So let me just tell you something. Here where I live in Switzerland, one person out of two owns a teddy coat. And I see like probably, I don't know, 30 of them per day. And uh, I never seen one as good quality as this one. You can believe me, the link will be in the down bar below. I don't remember if I get it. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's going to be linked in the down bar below. And I paid about 400 for it. For hundred dollars, but I mean like, it's real wool, so what do I care? You know all the synthetic teddy bear ones, they don't like, keep you warm. I'm not gonna do a try on for everything, I don't wanna ruin my makeup, and I have a lot to do today, as I told you. But I can try the coat on, so... Come on, like guys, this is goals. Like, you need that in your life. And I know it's a trend now, the teddy coat, right? But I feel like a teddy coat is not really a trend because it's like, it's beautiful. So it would go all the time. You could literally wear this for years and years and years and years. The color, I agree, is a bit like, but they had loads of options. So check it out in the down bar below. Okay, next. Uh, all of the stuff I'm gonna talk about now was sent to me for free. I did not pay any of it and everything is gonna link, be linked in the down bar below. And I'm going to be honest about each item because there is some good and there is some bad. And all of the things I'm going to talk to you from now on are from rebellious fashion. If I'm honest, uh, before um, they proposed to send me all of this stuff, 
I was going to order their latex, their latex leggings, but I didn't at the end because I don't remember what was the reason. Oh yeah, the shipping was too expensive, so I couldn't be bothered. So let's start by my favorite piece that you notice in a lot of my videos. It is this gilet. So if I have a picture with it, I'm gonna add it now. So it is a knitted gilet. The material of it is not great, but the cut is very good. It really looks cute. It really looks cozy. Um, most of their stuff are polyester and acrylic, which are basically plastic, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not great. Usually I wouldn't go for it, but I mean, who says no to free clothes? Like, come on. And I would definitely 100% recommend this. For the price, I think it is worth the money. Good piece, excellent piece, love it. I will wear this to death, 100%. Uh, then I got this jumper. This is just a classic cropped jumper with long sleeves. And uh, I don't really like the material of this because it's a bit like, I don't know, irritating. But I still, it's 100% acrylic. Keep away from fire. Made in the UK, which is a good thing because we don't like pollution, do we? And um, yeah, I, was, I also already worn this and I will answer you a picture. I was supposed to do a try-on for them, but they did not respect their part of the contract, so I'm not respecting mine. That is how shit works. Okay, that jumper is good too. The material is better. It's much better. This one actually doesn't feel bad. Oh, it's 100% acrylic as well, but this one actually feels a lot better. The thing uh, with these items, keep in mind that uh, they, they look good, but... Um, I'm always scared to wash them because usually uh, cheaper clothes get fluff quicker. I would definitely recommend the jumper, it's cute. And it has the same balloon kind of sleeve, so yeah, I really like that. Anyway, everything will be linked to the number below, just click on it and you're gonna see it modeled. Um, yeah. Okay, so I got that jumper as well, I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna wear it in the next video I'm gonna film. I don't like the material, again, like same thing cropped jumper over the shoulder with long like wide sleeves i don't think that this color is the color that complements me the most but i really like it and it's in size 8 let let me just tell you something i've gained a little bit of weight not enough for my enemies to be happy but i've gained a tiny bit of weight and usually i'm always a size uk 6 always 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 but as i gained these two kilos I was like, okay, in case I'm gonna get eight, because there is nothing worse than like, well, it was supposed to be a try on haul, but like, seriously, I don't have time today. Uh, and I ordered anything in everything in eight because I was like, better bigger than too small because it would look, I would, would just look stupid. But no, I am a size six, so I feel like the size quite big. If I would have gotten everything in size six, it would have been better. So yeah, and by the way, guys, can you imagine? that I went for a run today, I was buzzing on pre-workout and I did this makeup shaking like AF, I was shaking and I did, and, I'm, and now I look like a princess. How is that even possible? I'm just so talented. <laughs> this is again acrylic, but I'm still gonna wear it in my next video, I think, that I'm gonna film, just like you know. Okay, uh, this is a dress that I really like. So. It's one of those kind of organza materials. I do not mind bad materials for dresses because usually I don't wear dresses more than twice anyway. Um, but I am gonna rewear. Re I am gonna rewear this, this dress. I absolutely love it. Uh, I have a picture with it. I'm gonna answer it. So um, it comes with a lining underneath, so you basically are covered. Not too covered, but you are a bit covered, and it has these sleeves. Most of it is gonna be me wearing them on pictures. Oh, I'm keeping the worst for last. Interesting. So then I've got sent this dress. Unfortunately, this dress in size eight was way too big for me, like way too big. Like I'm literally floating in it. So um, yeah, I don't know if I eat well at Christmas, maybe, but uh, it's just like a, um, it stops just over my knee keep in mind that i am five five in height and uh, yeah it's just too big for me but i will manage to wear it somehow like with a belt or i don't know 
Like, I'm gonna tell you something, their stuff is fashionable. It's like, they have a lot of choice, everything is fashionable, it's just the quality. Like, it looks good, but it looks good only once when you wash it. Not everything, but that's how I feel about the brand in general. So, then I have this top that I absolutely love. Today I'm filming three videos, so I, I think I'm gonna wear this one in one of the three. So it has little hearts, organza sleeves, and it's in black. Love that. Like, the cuts are just like nothing to say. Okay, so, then I have this pad. Actually, this, I think, would last a long time. There are four leather pants, cargo pants. I have never worn them. They look like this, do you see? They have a pocket on the side, and they actually feel expensive. Like, they actually feel expensive. They are also a little bit too big for me, but, I mean, for the look, it's very good. I don't know, I'm really happy with them. They are also quite well made, and, uh, yeah. I would definitely recommend these and the full leather is really in fashion and yeah they do have like a few strings here and there but i'm just gonna like spend an hour cutting them before i'm gonna wear the item and as i told you you can check every you can check everything in the down bar below with the models wearing the items okay then the last item okay so guys in my head i was like this is a two-piece, a good two-piece, because you can wear the top alone with jeans, you can wear them together, or you can wear the pants with something else. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, when I meant it looks good only once, I was talking about this in particular. So I have worn this once, and it's ruined. Do you see? It has pulls everywhere, and I'm very careful with my things. Like, I am... I am so careful with my clothing and items, you cannot even imagine. So it makes me laugh when you tell that I throw my uh, perfumes and items on the bed, but actually uh, nothing will ever happen to them because I have a huge bed in front of me, okay? And uh, like, it's just like the quality is a bit of a joke. Do you see? These are the pants, but it looks good. If you want to go to a summer party and literally come home and throw away the item, this is perfect for that. Now I'm gonna only I'm only gonna be able to wear it home unless I get it fixed, but it's not even worth it for the price. But the thing is that the material is like is not good enough to be worn at home. At home I like uh, comfortable materials, which I'm, I'm I'm sure which I'm sure you can understand, right? And this is not a comfortable material, but it looks good. So basically, rebellious fashion. The jumpers, I would, I wish there would be more cotton in them. Even if there is some acrylic or polyester, I don't mind. But to the touch, like, they make my teeth like... You know, it's like the touching of the some jumpers is the same kind of feeling that when someone goes with, like, you know, like at school when they do... It's like, kind of like, makes me the same feeling that I don't like. Um... Everything that's full leather to me is very good quality and I really, really like the gilet. Overall, I feel the same way about rebellious fashion as I feel about misguided or pretty little thing. Okay, guys? So that is all for my fashion beauty haul. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Check out all the links in the down bar below. Uh, activate the notification bell and I will see you in my next video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!